don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description before we start building model Django models we are going to need to build a Django project so this is a setup guide for Mac OS if you did miss the setup guides at the start of this course you would have missed the process of installing extensions in preparation for development now the extensions that we have installed first of all we installed Python and then we installed uh, Night Owl which is just a UI interface which is of course completely optional and we installed Rough for linting and formatting as well as uh, installing the SQLite extension because we are going to initially be using the default SQLite database in Django so this will allow us to inspect the database okay so if you don't install these extensions don't worry you can still follow along of course but there may be some instances where you might see some automatic or automation in the code that I type or potentially you will see some underlines to indicate errors etc or I might press save and the data or the actual code will be automatically formatted so these are the type of things you might see and miss out on if you don't install these extensions all the tutorials in this course will be demonstrated on a Mac but if you do smell and you are using Windows I will provide additional guidance so don't worry about that the first step whether you're on Windows or Mac is to create a project folder so it's entirely up to you where you create your project folder of course I think I'm just going to place a new folder on my desktop so I'm going to add a new folder on my desktop let's just call this e-commerce and I'll open that folder this is now my folder on the left hand side and we can now start the project right so first task is to create a virtual environment we need to select terminal and a new terminal there is a shortcut for this which you can utilize on the Mac keyboard it's control and then the, key, the button above it on the keyboard so the title um, key so you press that press that together that will open and close the terminal right so we're going to need to create a virtual environment now we are working within the virtual environment let's think of a virtual environment as a self-contained directory that contains Python interpreter and its standard library it allows us to create an isolated environment for our Python projects now I appreciate that you might not be familiar with virtual environments I'm going to show you how to create so we can get started with our projects but this is a way to isolate the packages and dependencies that we install for our project which will prevent conflicts between different projects by keeping all of our dependencies for each project separate so in the Mac we're going to type in Python 3 and then the M flag and then we're going to type in VMV for virtual environments and then we need a folder to put our virtual environment within so we're just going to use VMV so that's the folder name so we start the virtual environment create a folder everything is now set up and ready for us to start so the first task is to type in source to actually activate the virtual environment and then navigate to the virtual environment folder VMV I press tab then to complete that component and then inside of that we have the bin folder again I press tab and then a and then press tab again to activate and that activates the virtual environment I know it's active because it says VEMV here on the left hand side of the prompt 